Hey everybody, Raven here. Today I want to talk to you about investing in silver and the importance of having certain kind of silver such as junk silver in your deep stack in case there's ever an economic, economical collapse, which would be really unfortunate. However, it is something that, you know, in these days and times, people need to consider what's going on in the world and uh, the different scenarios that could play out. Um, but I want to talk about first how solid an investment silver is if you are watching it closely and you're there for the long term investment. You know, I had somebody recently that was very upset that they said they put a lot of money into silver and in the last four weeks, uh, silver dropped by four four dollars and they, they'd lost a substantial amount of money and they wish they had never invested into silver. Well, you know... Silver and gold and other commodities run in cycles. There's always going to be ups. There's always going to be downs. And so, you know, one of the things that when you're investing into silver, you need to make sure, you know, that it is something that you can put aside for quite a while at times. Um, but if you're really on top of the market, you can do very well by buying during the lows and selling during the highs if that's your prerogative. But... Um, to give you an example, if you had invested in silver just six years ago, uh, you would have been able to get this dime right here for about a dollar thirty, dollar forty, a dollar fifty. Fifteen times face back then was considered very, very high, almost ridiculous. Nowadays, I've seen junk silver hit twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty times face, and people not blink an eye and still keep purchasing it. And it dropped down to, you know, 24, 25 times face. Right now, it's sitting at about 25, almost 26 times face on uh, Atmex. Uh, private trading, you might be able to get something closer more to 20. Um, a while back, I was able to get some, some junk silver for 18 times face. Everything fluctuates. And as long as you keep your dollar cost average at a point that you're able to, to live with, you should do fine because honestly... You, like I said, in six years, had you just only invested in junk silver and you watched the market closely, you could have sold, you know, when it was hitting the retail market at 30 times face, you could have sold it for 26 times face and made a 12 times face profit on everything you purchased and still did really well. And you could have waited again until the uh, silver dropped back down a little bit and uh, repurchased junk silver at that point um, one of the things that you really have to be cognizant of is don't get sucked up into FOMO you know the fear of missing out silver is always going to be around in one form or another you know junk silver they're not not going to make any more of junk silver because it was made back in 1964 and older so this kind of silver is going to fluctuate all the time it just really depends on where the market is and where spot is um, you know ultra collectible stuff like this proof American Silver Eagle this is gonna keep a, a really high value unless we have something happen same thing with the Libertad right here the 82 BU um, first year Libertads they're going at least 45 50 55 bucks just really depends Again, where spot is, where people are, uh, the condition of the coin, you know, graded, the Libertads go for insane amounts of money. Um, you know, vintage A mark rounds like this, this right here, gorgeous 1983, um, you know, command a certain kind of premium, but God forbid we have an economic collapse. If we, <clears throat> if that happens, what's going to happen is things like I have some gorgeous uh, proof. Benjamin Franklin halves that I got a while back that have been kept in my deep stack for a while. Uh, something like that where that coin graded is worth a hundred and something dollars. Ungraded, you're looking at 40 bucks or whatnot. If we have an economic collapse and we're having to trade for commodities, you know, in food, we're going to see a drastic change. All of a sudden, this one ounce of silver premium American Silver Eagle worth of, you know, 85, 95, 100 bucks, whatever store uh, the spot price is at and what they're willing to pay for the collectibles is now going to be just one ounce of silver. 
And depending on where society as a whole decides to trade at, you know, your, your dimes might be worth 20 times face. They might be worth 30 times face. It really depends on where everybody wants to trade. But, you know, a dime or two should be able to get you uh, a dozen eggs or a loaf of bread, what have you. Um, these collectible vintage silvers like the Libertad and the Amarks, they're going to drop significantly in value and be worth only what an ounce of silver is going for. So something that normally sells for $50 might only be worth about $20, $25, maybe less, depending on where everybody decides that, hey, we're going to barter with silver and gold and here are the values that we're giving them. Um, that's something to kind of consider because all of these things have intrinsic value and when they're brilliant uncirculated or they're proofs like these Ikes, you know, they have a certain value established for numismatic reasons. But for a situation where you're having to trade, you would have to actually really understand that the numismatic value would be out the window completely. Any premium silver you have, whether it be a Zombuck or some special swan from Australia, kookaburras, all of that stuff would go out the window and you would literally only be trading for the value of the silver itself, what the weight is, and same thing with gold. All the really cool pre-33 gold would only be worth what it would be, uh, its, its weight basically, you know, its value is its weight in gold. And uh, that's something that, you know, I really hope never happens because that would be a entirely different world. It'd be really crazy to see something like that. And I really hope, like I said, that that, that isn't the case. But luck literally goes towards those that are prepared. You know, it, it, and I forget the exact quote, but uh, I, I think it's luck favors the prepared. And the thing is, is, is this isn't a scare tactic kind of video. This is just a common sense thing of, hey, look, I have a certain amount of money that I can afford to set aside just in case something happens. And to give you an example, I live in, in Oklahoma where tornadoes are prevalent. And, uh, you know, you really have to do things like keep, we, we have like 15 cases of water we have a bunch of uh, stored food. We have a storm shelter. We make sure that just in case the worst thing happens, that, it, hey, at least we can survive because we have some food and water until they can fix the roads, fix the power. You know, we have a generator, things like that. So I just wanted to talk to you guys today and, you know, let you guys know what my thoughts are, what the... Uh, the cool thing about silver and being able to make good money if you watch the markets properly. And then also don't get in, get caught up in the fear of missing out because silver will always be around. And um, I think it'll be a long time before you ever see super huge spikes like, you know, $100 ounce silver that some people predict. But there's always going to be a cycle to it. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. It might hit 30, 35 at one point and drop down to 20. That is the nature of commodities and investing in silver and gold. That's why it is a long-term investment. I can't stress that enough, that you can do really well as long as you watch the markets and that you're willing to be able to wait a while. You know, um, silver might spike to 30, go down to 20, and then it takes a year or two to get back up to 20-something or, or almost 30. Um, you know, you want to buy on those low points. Avoid buying silver when it's $28, $29 an ounce. Get it when it's more closer to $20 uh, or less, and you'll do just fine. If you want to correspond, it's ravenhotcoins at gmail.com. Our PO box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Raven Hot Coins! Have a great day.